The Notre Dame boys basketball team is coming off their first loss of the season after falling to Newark High School in the Josh Palmer Classic Basketball Tournament. And for the Crusaders, one loss is too many. But Notre Dame with a tough game on tap tonight. The Crusaders hosting the Josh Palmer Regional 1 Bracket Champions, Susquehanna Valley. Beginning of the game, the pass down low and Tom Agin off the glass. Notre Dame up early. But then off of the steal here, the Sabres, the dribble, the dish, and the deuce as Jack Lamonte nets one, and we're tied at six. Later, Darius Garvin stop, pops, and knocks down the two, and Notre Dame playing for revenge as they trump the Sabres 65-48. New York Knicks continuing their tour of Texas tonight. The blue and orange looking to get a second win in a row. This one coming down to the final seconds. New York facing off against the Houston Rockets and the Knicks class player Jeremy Lin making New York pay there. Nothing but net later. Knicks down Iman Shumpert playing lights out last night trying to continue and he gets it. He led the Knicks scoring 26 tonight and Carmelo Anthony stepping up right inside the arc. He knocks down the jumper. This game had over 18 lead changes. Can't even write that. Lynn with the shot. No good, but Dwight Howard there to clean it all up. Then the Knicks, I believe I can fly as Tyson Chandler getting big. That one ties it up, but New York in the final seconds falls to Houston 102-100. And in college sports, winter vacation might be winding down in Ithaca, but the Cornell men's hockey team is feeling refreshed after the break. Big Red hosting the Russian All-Stars at Lanaya Rink tonight. The exhibition game wasn't really even a game. I don't know if the Russian squad realized the context of the term All-Stars, but Big Red playing dominant, beating out the Russian team 6-0. Cornell next plays UMass on Friday. Big Red now stands at 8-4-3. And the Elmira Jackals hit the ice tonight, but it hasn't been looking good for the Jack Attack. This one coming down to the end, and then some Elmira loses in overtime 3-2 against the Wheeling Nailers. The Jackals have now lost six games in a row, but Elmira returns home tomorrow night at Wheeling at 7.